Hello again, guys. So I came back. Um, what can I say? I don't have any extraordinary reasons why I didn't upload for the last four weeks. I was just really tired of making videos and it was beginning to be really hard because I started to explore topics that I am not very familiar with. So I had to study a lot of stuff and then prepare prepare code for a video and then record video and then edit video. So I was getting really tired and burnt out. And uh, one day I realized that uh, making videos now is even harder than having a normal coding job. So I decided that I will uh, not upload video with any schedule anymore. So I will just upload videos when I feel like it. And today, after four weeks of silence, I finally feel like making some video. I'm not sure what will be scheduled now. You know, I might also disappear for one month once again. But hopefully I will make new videos, uh, not after one month, but maybe one week or something like that. So in our previous lesson, we had this, um, this, this detail view and this list view uh, views. So detail view, for example, when we uh, open this URL, we get the information of the student with ID 27. Uh, we also might have a list of students in the other view. And we actually might want to combine these two functionalities in one. For example, uh, I changed a little bit this uh, student model and I added this grades many to many fields. So basically now, uh, we have a student and the student can have different grades for example grade one math with mark five grade two uh, biology with grade uh, with mark four and you know we might want to have some kind of url like student detail 27 grades so we might want to uh, show the list of grades of particular student and basically in this case we need to combine the detail detail view functionality and list view functionality so for detail view uh, we need detail view uh, in order to get a particular student with the ID 27 and we need the list view in order to uh, get actually the list of grades of the student and for that reason we might use mixins so let's create class uh, student grades view and it might have really default list view in order to display grades but we also might also have single object mixing in order to actually work with a particular student object so now let's define the template name student grades html i already created the template here so here we basically display the name of the student and then we iterate through grades and show mark of the grade as we have here in our model subject and mark in the grade and then let's define get method self request arcs quarks I'm really curious if I if I uh, pronounce this correctly. Quarks. I I never heard people pronounce it, so I don't know. Self object. So here we actually um, 
work now with single object mixin. So we basically um, now we all say what uh, what really uh, what model we should use for that uh, single object mixin. And we say object will be self get object and query set will be all students. And we'll return super get request. So yeah, basically now we define this self object uh, when we actually get a particular object. Here we will define get context data and we will rewrite this context data in order to actually add this student to the context. So we get the original context here. Super get context data quarks and let's add this student key to context which will be self object and return context. So now actually we'll have this student context here and we will be able to use it in our template student object. And let's also define actually the query set for our grades for our list view. Get query set self return self objects object grades all. And we will be able to access this query set, this list of grades using this uh, page obj and basically that's it now we can actually go to urls okay not these urls but these urls let's import this student grades view <coughs> and we also need to add this paginate by let's just say one and uh, by using paginate by we can actually say how many uh, this list objects we can we should have in one page so as you can see now this student with the uh, id 27 has three grades five four and five and if you have some other user where I, some other student where I didn't define anything, it will just show the name of the student, but it will not show any grades. So, so yeah, um, I wanted to show to you uh, this example. But of course, I will not go through all the mixins that you can use. You can find them here in the documentation. Context mixin, res template response mixin. So you can see there are a lot of mixins here that you can use. And generally, I just wanted to show you why would you want to use them. And I wanted to show you an exam example of uh, how you can actually use these mixins. And uh, and you don't even need to know about all the mixins if you don't need to use all of them. So you need to study all, only the ones which are which actually will be important in your job. And yeah, I guess uh, that's it for this lesson. I hope now you understand mixins better and you understand better how you can use them in your project. And hopefully, I will come back. You know, maybe after one week and not after one year. So anyway, if you want to motivate me to make more videos, please 
uh, give a like, subscribe, post a comment, I don't know, just give, give me some activity so I know that, you know, people actually watch my videos and it's worth making them.